Tenant Minerals is focused on its wholly owned Barclay project in the Northern Territory and the high-grade Bluebird Copper Gold Discovery. Bluebird is considered to be one of the most significant discoveries of Tenant Creek style iron oxide hosted copper gold mineralization in over 20 years and Tenant Minerals commenced the 2024 exploration season during the last quarter. Joining me to discuss more is Tenant Minerals CEO Vincent Algar. Vince, welcome to the Stock Network. Thanks, thanks for having us still. Now, Vince, can you give me a overview of the current drilling program targeting high-grade copper gold mineralization at Bluebird? So we've just uh, put out our quarterly and we used the opportunity to announce to the market that we finished our drill program, which coincided uh, with the quarterly anyway, so we thought we'd put it out at the time. Um, the drill program, we, we ended up planning for about uh, 4,000 odd metres of drilling using IC. Um, and we ended up doing just over six. So it was really, really a positive program for us. Uh, we were able to really get through the meters with the company we used uh, that was doing our drilling, top drill. And um, and then because we used IC drilling, which is percussion drilling effectively, um, it took us a really, really short amount of time to get the work done, which is really great because what that means is we get our samples um, analyzed, or uh, we get them logged, we get them analyzed, sent to the lab, and it's still early. It's only just the end of July, right? Which is great. So that we really got in there right at the beginning of the drill season, and now we've already got. We'll have the results back, you know, within a month or so of having started and finished the program. So it'll allow us to assess that data and then go back in the field um, to follow up the results that we get. Excellent. Now, uh, you did say, as you mentioned in the quarterly, that those samples have been submitted to Perth Laboratories. And also you said just now you're expecting uh, the assay, re assay results could be ready in about a month. When do you think um, that the market might get a release about those results? Well, as, as with laboratory results in, in all of eternity for the junior sector, we don't really know how long the labs will take to get the results done. But we do know that we've submitted um, our batches to them. Uh, we keep a good track on them. They're pretty good at letting us know as things are going along. So we don't think it'll be an awful, awful long amount of time. It'll be sometime during August that we get our results back. As soon as we get them in, we'll analyse them and put them together and start presenting them to the market in a, in a digestible way that we can, can show what we found and, and what we're going to do next. Excellent. And um, perhaps if we can recap some past results, you've received further results from ongoing metallurgical test work of diamond core samples from Bloomberg over the quarter. What have they confirmed to you? The quarter was very exciting with respect to metallurgical work. It's very important for a project like this to understand at the outset uh, because of the high grades of gold and copper that we've received in drilling and, and, and looking at the scale of the deposit that, that is potentially there, we have to look at the deposit as something that will be mined in the future. So we, by taking that view, you then have to work out what product you're going to produce from this. And this is not just a straightforward gold project in that it's not only got one product. It's got two products. It's got copper and gold all, all connected together. So the work we really uh, did during the quarter was focused on the uh, simplifying and understanding the basic metallurgical processes that we could get a copper gold or copper product out. So in that case, it only means a copper concentrate. Um, in our case, that's what it means. It was shipped from this area for many, many years when the set, when this field was in production. Um, so we, we confirmed that we can produce a better than commercial quality copper concentrate with a gold credit of over one and a half grams. Important for viewers to understand that if you've got more than one gram of gold in a copper concentrate, it will get paid for almost entirety, in, entirety by the person buying it. So that's really important. The other thing is to keep the deleterious elements down and also identify what we do with the critical minerals. So we mentioned in the quarterly, we've started to see that some of the critical minerals like bismuth and cop and and cobalt are also present in this concentrate. How do we deal with them? <clears throat> they are very high value to the market, being critical minerals. So that's an ongoing piece of work. <clears throat> but we're very impressed with the work we've done. That the deposit yields its copper and gold very easily to us, um, using simple methods that we can that we can replicate now and use as we move the deposit forward. Gives you sort of a comfort blanket as you go into further drilling. Yes, well, Vince, thank you so much for the update on Tenant Minerals last quarter today and looking forward to everything that's to come that you've also outlined. Thank you. Mm -hmm.